Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you guys doing today? Have you had your snack? And are you well rested? Are you ready to sit down and read a book with us? Today we have a book called Crocodiles Need Kisses Too by Rebecca Colby. Let's check it out, shall we? Crocodiles Need Kisses Too Despite their lumpy, bumpy hide, toothy mouths stretch open wide. Just like me and just like you, crocodiles need kisses too. Regardless of their prickly spines, sharpened quills raced up in lines. Just like me and just like you, porcupines need cuddles too. Although they all have shaking tails, pointy fangs, and slippery scales. Just like me, and just like you, rattlesnakes need squeezes too. Even with their wrinkly peaks, talon feet, and hook-like beaks. Just like me, and just like you, vultures need some nuzzles too. Forget their ragged, jagged grins. Turning, churning, circling fins. Just like me and just like you, great white sharks need smooches too. Ignore the hulky, bulky chests, beating, banging on their breasts. Just like me and just like you, gorillas need a few hugs too. Never mind your pouncing paws, raging roars, and scratching claws. Just like me and just like you, tigers need some snuggles too. Beyond your scary hairy legs, eight black eyes and sacks of eggs. Just like me, and just like you, tarantulas need tickles too. Regardless of your smashing tail. Howling cry and yowling wail. What's true for them is true for you. Children need affection too. Despite our looks and what we do. We all need love. And I love you. Wasn't that so cute? If you enjoy Crocodiles Need Kisses too, you can own your own copy. The links to purchase it are in the description below. If you enjoyed this book, do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't and click on the bell for more stories like this. Till we see you back here again, you take care. Bye-bye. Today we have Sparkle Kitty versus the Sun by Amy Coles. Let's check it out, shall we?
Sparkle Kitty vs. the Sun The sun is shining, says Sparkle Kitty. I want to play outside in the sun. Oh no, says Sparkle Kitty. The sunlight is too bright, bright, bright. What can protect my eyes from the bright sunlight? Wonders Sparkle Kitty. Can something over here protect my eyes from the bright sunlight? Which of these items do you think can protect Sparkle Kitty? You are right, says Sparkle Kitty. The sunglasses will protect my eyes from the bright sunlight. I look delightful. With the sunglasses on, Sparkle Kitty opens the door to go outside. Oh no! My eyes are protected from the bright sunlight, but the sunlight on top of my head is hot, hot, hot. Sparkle Kitty knows just what to do. Sparkle Kitty found something to protect their head from the hot sunlight. What are they pointing at? That's right, my hat will protect my head from the hot, hot, hot sunlight, says Sparkle Kitty. I look dashing. Now Sparkle Kitty is really ready to go outside in the sun. With their sunglasses over their eyes and their hat on their head, Sparkle Kitty opens the door to go outside. Oh no! Sparkle Kitty's eyes are protected. Sparkle Kitty's head is protected, but the sunlight can still hurt the skin. Sparkle Kitty runs back inside. They have an idea. Sparkle Kitty knows there is something in their backpack that can protect their skin from the sunlight. Can you find something to protect Sparkle Kitty's skin from the sunlight? That's right, the sunscreen will help protect Sparkle Kitty from getting a sunburn. Sparkle Kitty slathers the sunscreen on their arms and on their legs. That tickles on their feet and all over their tail. Remember to put sunscreen on your face and ears too, Sparkle Kitty. I'm ready to go outside and play in the sun now, says Sparkle Kitty. I feel delightful, dashing, and safe. This time, Sparkle Kitty runs outside as fast as they can. Yippee! Even though it is bright and hot and sunny, Sparkle Kitty spends all day outside having fun. Sparkle Kitty draws pictures with sidewalk chalk. Sparkle Kitty chases mice through the tall grass. Sparkle Kitty makes a crown out of flowers and leaves. Some of the sunscreen wears off when Sparkle Kitty plays, so they need to put more on. At the end of the day, when the sun goes away, Sparkle Kitty has a bubble bath to wash off the sunscreen. And tomorrow the sun returns. Sparkle Kitty will know how to be safe from sunburns. The end. And that was Sparkle Kitty versus the sun. I hope you've been putting on your sunglasses and your sunscreen and your little cute hat when you go to play outside. I love the sunshine, but we must protect ourselves from the harsh rays sometimes. Thank you so much for taking the time and reading with us. If you like a copy of this book, the links are in the description below. Do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. And leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.